In this module, I'm going to show you how to set up a webcam with a Raspberry Pi. Now this is not a live streaming webcam, but more like the ones you used to see in the early 2000s. One of the ones that uploads an image at a set interval. In this module, I will show you how to capture an image from a webcam and upload it to a web server automatically once a minute with your Raspberry Pi. Now we're using a Raspberry Pi 1 for this demo, but you can use a Raspberry Pi 1, 2, or 3 and the instructions will be identical. Now, as you can see on my stage here, I have my Raspberry Pi connected to a USB webcam and pointed at Oswald the Wizard. The Pi is powered up and wired into the Ethernet, and this is all the physical setup we will need for this project. Okay, the first thing we're going to need to do is install some software to read the webcam. Now, we have just a general USB webcam installed, and what we're going to use is something called FS Webcam to read it. To install this, I type in sudo apt-get install fs webcam. And now that that is installed, we'll go ahead and run a couple tests to make sure that this is able to access the USB webcam and information. For a test, we can just run fs webcam with a parameter of test.jpg to make sure it's connecting to the USB web camera. FS webcam will search your video devices automatically, and here it is found slash dev slash video zero. It selected default resolution and captured the frame and wrote to a JPEG. Now this is just a basic usage of the application and we will create a more powerful command and put it into a shell script for this project. And in our camera directory, we will type in nano camera.sh to create this shell script. Now since this is going to be a bash script, you can see that I put in the hash pound slash bin slash bash at the top of the script. And for the next line, we'll put in FS webcam r 960 by 544, which is the new resolution that we're going to grab at. And then I'll put in a subtitle that says, this is just a test. And then a title that says, test webcam. Finally, at the end of that line, I have webcam.jpg, which is going to be the file that we're going to write to when this shell script is run. Here's what the final command line looks like. And now we will save and close the script and run it. And now that we're back at the command line, we want to set that script to be executable. And now we will execute the script. And now we will run dot slash camera dot sh. Okay, and as you can see here, we captured the frame, we set a subtitle, a title, and then wrote the JPEG image. Now let's check to make sure it exists on the drive. And there we have the test that we did earlier and the webcam.jpg next to it. Now what we'll do is we'll set it up to FTP it to a web server so we can take a look at that JPEG and see what it looks like. Now what we're going to do next is install something called Kermit. Now what that does is it scripts our FTP commands so that we can write a script that will FTP this file up to our website and then we can run that script with a cron job. So let's do that. And to install that, we'll type in sudo apt-get install ckermit. And now with that installed, let's get started writing our script. Now just like with the bash file, we put a reference here in the first line to the user slash bin slash kermit. That way we know that kermit is supposed to run this script. Now the next lines here are going to be the lines that I would type in if I were doing FTP from the command line. So I have FTP open in avatsia.com. I have my user and my password. And then once that's connected, we send an FTP put command that's going to put webcam.jpg to that folder. Then next, we're going to say buy and then quit. This script simply automates all these commands so that I don't have to type them in by hand and we can call this script with a cron job and it'll run automatically once a minute. Now something to note here is on my hosting account, I've created the sample FTP user. And what I did was I set the home folder to innovatia.com slash www.root slash webcam. This means this is the default directory that that FTP user will be going to. That way you don't have to be explicit when you're specifying where to upload. 
Now, similar to our other script, we are going to need to mark this as executable. Now let's run it. To run this command, we'll do dot slash connector dot Kermit. And now our script is complete. We can see where it connected to the website and it uploaded the file in binary format. Now you may see some SSL TLS errors, especially if you don't have any certificates and you don't have HTTPS enabled, but these are just fine to ignore. And now let's go check the website and make sure that it's been uploaded. Now I've FTP'd into the server and verified that webcam.jpg is definitely on the server. Now, as you can see, I have an index.html and some style sheets there. And what I've done is created a small web page that includes that webcam.jpg and let's take a look at it. Okay, now a quick check of my website says that everything's working. Now, as I said, I created an HTML file that points at the webcam.jpg. And as you can see here, we have the picture of the little wizard with the Raspberry Pi logo. We have a title that says test webcam, a subtitle that says this is just a test. And then over on the right here, we have a timestamp. Now let's write a cron job so that we can have this update once a minute. Cron is a program that will run commands at a specified interval. You can have something run once a month, once a day, once per hour, or even once per minute, which is what we'll do. We will use the command crontab-e to do this. Since we're running crontab-e under our pi user, that means the pi user will be running these commands at the specified intervals. Now that we have our crontab open, we can add the commands that we're going to want to run. And we're going to want to run that camera.sh and the connector.kermit. Now this first line, you'll see the set of five asterisks and then the slash home slash pi slash camera camera.sh. What that means is we want to run it every minute, every hour, every day, every week, every month. So basically this camera.sh will be running once per minute. Now it isn't enough just to run that shell script that's going to take the picture. We also need to upload it and we do that with the connector.kermit file. So I added a file there also. So now every minute we're going to run camera.sh and connector.kermit. So let's save the file and exit. After we exit, it says installing new cron tab. That means it's active and ready to go. And now I can check my timestamp and see that it was just uploaded. So now I'm uploading a picture once every minute to my web server. Okay, in this module, we did quite a bit. We installed software to capture an image from our USB webcam. Then we sent a custom command to get the image we want, and we put that into a shell script. And then we used Kermit to script FTP commands, and we use that to upload the file to the web server. And then we set up a cron job to automate it all. The end result? Once a minute, we have something that's taking a picture from a USB webcam and uploading it to a web server. If you like my videos and tutorials, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will be uploading many of these in the future months, and we'll be doing a lot of IoT stuff with Raspberry Pi, Arduino, and the BeagleBoard.